Hello everybody and welcome to the Zextra Suite user interface demo video. In this video I'll give you a brief overview of the Zextra Suite interface or the Zextra administration simlet. As you can see the Zextra administration simlet appears on the left side of the simlet administration menu. Three sections, core, Zex backup and notifications. We start with the core section. The core section you can find items and information about all Zextra Suite. So you can find information about your license, whether is it valid, is it purchase or trial, company name, reseller name, and validity dates. You can find modules list, the upload license button, which you can use to upload your license. You'll find an updates section with information about current version, available versions, and last check for the updates. You can click the check updates button to automatically check for updates, but no software will be installed. It's manual installation. And then you have the notifications pane. You can choose the notification level. As you can see, debug information, warning, error, or critical. You can choose the notification level and select the sender and recipient address for notification emails. Going on to the Zextras Backup tab for the Zextras module, you can find the basic backup configuration pane with the backup path, space threshold, scan operation scheduling control to schedule scan operations, so small scan every day and full scan once a week. And then the run smart scan and the run full scan button. You can use this button to run full scan manually and smart scan manually. Smart scan is a lighter version of the full scan introduced in version 1.0.2. Check out this extra wiki for more information. A stop backup operations for emergency situations like high load on the server. Data retention policies or for how long to keep deleted items in the backup. Default is 30 days. Zero days stands for infinite retention, so no backup purge. The real-time scanner control to enable or disable the real-time scanner. Another emergency button checks the Zextras wiki to know how and when to use it. The last full scan statistics. Some stats about Zextras version, Zimbra version, initialization, last full scan date, and items, accounts, and purges of the last full scan. And then the input backup and export backup buttons. You'll find on YouTube, on our channel, more videos about the import and export procedures. Finally, there's the notification button. It's uh, one of the hit features of version one. And uh, basically here you will find anything about Zextras. So as you can see, operation notifications, start, stop, and running informations. You can set the verbosity level of these notifications on the core tab. Warning messages, error messages, critical error messages, such as uh, license expired, or uh, too many users on the server, license will shut down. You can see it's very email-like, like an email client, so you can mark notification both as read and unread, which is very useful if multiple administrators work on the same machine. And uh, that's basically all. If you need any help with Zextra Suite or its function, click the help button on the top of each page on the Zextra Zimlet. You will be taken to the appropriate page on the Zextra Wiki, where you will find all the information you might need. Bonus feature, the Zextra's command line interface. As you can see, you can control everything about Zextra Suite and its modules with the command line interface, another new hit feature of version one. Here we are launching a, a full scan operation with the progress option. So we'll see the progress of the operation running. It's completely detached from the operation so, so you can Press Ctrl C to interrupt and the operation will still go on. 
As you can see, the operation now is over. We have some basic statistics. The same you will be notified about via email. And that's pretty much all. Thank you for watching.